right. So good morning to my dear students. Of course, you. Good morning, everyone. So welcome to our online panel discussion. And I am so happy that you are here. And a while ago, the group one have, has already discussed regarding the environmental issue. Now, before we begin in our topic for today, so I would like you to introduce your, yourself first. So hello everyone, I am Jammer Carabello and I am the leader of Group 3 in this panel discussion. So for today, we are going to tackle about cyberbullying and these are my members. Good morning everyone, my name is Cesar Kid Mendoza Pila and I am a member of this panel. Thank you. Hi, I'm Christian J. Maliwanan Castillo. I'm a member of J. Marika Thank you. Um, good morning, everyone. My name is Mark J. Saxiladina, member of J. Marika All right. So, thank you very much for introducing yourself. So, let's begin our panel discussion today. So, all you have to do is just relax. <laughs> okay, I know that you are all nervous this time, but you know what? It, I, I know that it's really challenge, challenging for us to do this in, a, uh, in an online panel discussion. But you know what? Learning should never stop and your voice should be heard. Okay, so now as what Cariveo says a while ago that... The topic for today is all about cyberbullying, and this is a very big issue that we need to talk about. Okay, now let's begin in this question. So everyone, please give your definition. What is cyberbullying? So I will start first. Um, cyberbullying is a kind of bullying that engages into social media. So it could be used as a um, threat to everyone, as, as a ch children, because some of us or some of the toddlers are already know how to use gadgets, and it could be used as, or it could be used as offensive or insulting in others. Um, to me, <clears throat> cyberbullying is to use electron communication to bully a person typical by sending message of an intimidating or threat nature, like um, Facebook, Instagram, and anything else to communicate each other. For me, cyberbullying or cyber harassment is not only at, at experience of this but also on social media, like, like like online bullying and this is a dangerous situation because your situation because if because when a person cannot cope at this bullying maybe she or he can commit suicide because it can lower your self-confidence depression anxiety fear and also it can lower self-esteem yeah, that's right. For me, cyberbullying is when summons you and hurtful, hurtful message or harass you on social media. Right. Okay. So, um, for the second question is, why do cyber bullies bully other people online? Okay, again, I will start first. So, why do... Why do cyber bullies bully other people in online? So there would be a lot of, um, what do you call this thing? Um, uh, thinking about that, but I think why do people bully them in online? Because they are attention seeker or they have their own motive to that person they are targeting to mm -hmm. or they are just, they have the crush or crush on that person or, you know, Right. For me, my opinion, um, I think um, cyberbullying person in social media because 
we can use um, dummy accounts or fake accounts to bully a person. For example, um, I create um, some FB fake accounts and I use fake names and fake details to not um, verify me. Yeah, that's right. Um, because on online, um, the news or fake news spread quickly online, and some of people create a fake account to post and fake information about you. Um, I believe it's because of their their own insecurities to satisfy their their needs right okay so that is the danger of those who do the cyber bullying no all right okay what what would you do if you were cyber bullied should you notify your parents or guardians about this issue can you explain that yes mom for me yes because like what i said like you would said earlier that cyber bullying is a big issue here in our country but not just in our country, but in the whole world. So for yes. me, we should we should know we should notice them, or we should tell them that we are being victim of cyberbullying. Cause we never knew what will happen to us or what was running to our mind. So we need the proper guidance from our guardians to uh, to know or to help us in handling such things such as cyberbullying. Yeah, I definitely agree with you. <laughs> My answer is yes, because don't be shy to open your parents. Maybe your threat threatening you is um, not so good. And to parents, he or your parents, talk to their parents to talk why you should, why you put in somebody or something else like that. I inform my parents about this about this issue and also I will fight them because I will fight them in a right way, not a not, not a not a bad way because I'll do the I I'll do good things even if they are bad things. Mm -hmm. Um, yes, because they can help me more to stop, um, uh, they can help me more and to stop those people who bullying me, who bully. Yeah, that is right. And you have to, of course, notify, tell your parents regarding that because they may guide you and they may help you. I agree with you, class. Okay, so what can people do to stop cyberbullying? Okay, for me, what do people prevent of cyberbullying is to have a proper guidance as well as handling uh, technical things because we never knew what we are, we are we, we're not that kind of fluent in using technology yet. We are just learning. So as for this, well, new normal, we know that. So a lot of people was ja a lot of people might use it as a training ground or should i say um a, a center point of a center point of harassing a lot of people so like we said like a while um before before we start our lesson about this that mm -hmm. we we should be careful in protecting our privacy so don't so don't um be all that so don't give the link of our class, like you nice. said, because someone might invade our privacy and that will be the cause of cyberbullying and other stuff that may can harm us. Yes, very good. <clears throat> For me, you can talk the bully why he bullying you with, with, that, with your, their parents and your parents because maybe... Um, you, you, she or she bullying you because she was angry with you or what. 
anything mm-hmm. else or jealous. And we can fix it with her parents and my parents. And that's it. Yeah, I agree. Kaiser? Um, um, some of people, some of people, the bullying is make it funny. So, so maybe it has a, it, it may, maybe it has a other friends, other friends, um, other friends, like a bad influence to teach them uh, a bad habit. Yes. Discipline ourself and respect is the key to stop the cyberbullying. Not, not, uh, ano? Not only cyber, but all types of bullying. Yes, that's right. So, discipline and respect others. Okay, very good. And then, how can you... So, a while ago, the question was, what can people do to stop cyberbullying? Now, this time, how can you prevent cyberbullying? For me, uh, how to prevent cyberbullying? Stop... Um, Posting um, nudes or do something sexual um, mm-hmm. videos because they're in the Philippines, um, their eyes looking at you. Yes. Add ons regarding of Christian's opinion. So for me, before you post everything in social media, think before you click as well. Right. Because a lot of people have this kind of toxic in mind that if you are if you are wearing something sexy they will going to say that it's not already but we we didn't even know or we didn't even think that that person does she is kind of huge um used to that clothes but some part if you're going to do a green minded mind like what i said um of course you are going to think about something bad and you will going to think of harassing that person and pretending to be other person just to chat that person. Yeah. yeah. For me, how to uh, how to prevent the cyberbullying at school? Um, you need to express all of your confidence. Um, um, because based on my observation, some of people victim of this bullying um, is is for being alone or for being lonely. So, so it has a no confidence, no confidence to make friends with others. So, um, make make friends with others. Um, yeah, it's really important, Tracer, is- that you you have to develop your confidence and then boost your self esteem. Right? Okay. Thank you, Kaiser. Jay Zach? For me, be careful of things you post in so- social media because being in social media is dangerous when you're careless and there no one could, could stop social media. Yeah, and also as what Jemari says a while, said a while ago that f- think, uh, think before you share, okay? So you have to be careful on... Uh, as what Jay Sack said, that you have to be careful on uh, posting anything on social media. Okay, next. How do you think cyberbullying affects the life of those who bullied? For me, <clears throat> it costs lots confidence and maybe she or he can foolish his dream because you're judging him and you distracting him what she do or he do. And not, not good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. Regarding on Christian and Kaiser said a while ago, well, of course, there would be a big, a big effect in our social life as, as well as social, um, about, about technology as well. Because we are, debu- uh, we are doubting ourselves now that what we should do, because a lot of people are judging us by our physical appearance and as well as our posts in social media. Media. For me, to prevent that, um, we should talk to our parents or um, a psychologist for us to 
know how to handle such thing as bullying and prevent us from getting uh, thinking about suicidal thoughts. Yeah. Said my I um same as said my 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 explanation before um the the cyberbullying is can affect our our life because it can lower your self confidence um you 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 already have experienced a uh, depression fear low self esteem and so on. So it can affect your life, mate. Because um, maybe you, if the if uh, when a person cannot cope at this bullying, maybe she or he can commit suicide. Yes, that's right. Wow, thank you very much, Kaiser. Jay Zach. Uh, for me, they they may have a depression, less confidence, and they may commit suicide. Yes, that's right. That's okay, now. How this this question is a, uh, uh, I hope that would give a great impact for everybody else for the last question. How can governments educate people, especially children, about the harm uh, of the harm of cyberbullying, or about the harm cyber cyberbullying does? In your own opinion. Um. <laughs> Uh, for me, a uh, government official has already acquired a law regarding that cyberbullying. So it is Article um, RA 10175 that it I know I wait up. Uh, it is a revised code of cyberbullying prevention act that it could be used as one of the instrument to prevent cyberbullying and to teach some of the people or teenagers that are into social media right now that how to use proper um, proper ways to use um, inform uh, formal way of using technology and other technical stuff and social media as well thank you so for me to create a policy for everyone especially to do, to the children to add to everybody educate about the what is the negative about what is the negative effects of cyberbullying in our society. Right. Um, for me, by making laws to protect child children on cyberbullying or promoting anti-bullying. Yes, I agree with you, class. Class, I am very proud of you for saying your voice or your ideas regarding cyber uh, cyberbullying. Okay, now for the final question, class, can you give your final advice for those who experience this cyberbullying? For me, <clears throat> um, take her advice or she had advice to you and. Make your self-confidence louder and don't believe them. For me, ma'am, um, cyberbullying is a kind of bullying that we all are uh, we are experiencing right now. So, if I would be the victim of cyberbullying, I would be um, tell to the others that who has not yet experiencing cyberbullying is just be careful. Uh, just be careful on people who meet you in social media and don't give your full information regarding that person and of course if you experience cyberbullying just be yourself and use that bullying thought of that to be positive because people might bully you because they are jealous of you because they are too insecure that what you have your what you have reached so that's why people might do something harm, harmful for you that may ruin your reputation but always remember that every every mistake that they every mistake that you do it's okay because it's part of the life yeah that's right for me um be brave be brave always because be brave be brave is very important to to know other people who are bullied you just be yourself and don't should be immediately believe in their threats 
press. Yes, that's right. Uh, for me, just don't listen to their what they say and just think positive. Okay, just um, short answer, but it has a clear message for us, okay? So I am very happy, class, for your answers, and I would like to congratulate you. Congratulations, every one of you. So this is the ending of our panel discussion, and that's it. Thank you very much, and I am very proud of you. Congratulations, Group 2. I am so proud Yay. of you.